Hey guys, welcome back to the Studley vlog. Today we are heading out to Santa Monica. I met up with my buddy Nick, who is a super talented photographer. He shoots on some crazy stuff. He shoots wet plate, dry plate, and mixes all of his chemicals. It's pretty wild. So Nick is shooting with a five x seven Seneca improved view camera. And according to some old brochures, this is actually from 1909. Yeah, you heard that right, 1909. It's over a hundred years old and it still works amazing. So because this is a 5x7 camera, you have to focus using the ground glass on the back. So Nick is shooting with a glass plate using this custom holder that he has. And it basically holds the plate, which already have the chemicals on them. And then he will process it later when he gets back home, instead of having the chemicals with him. Since Nick mixes up his own chemicals and basically makes his own film plates on glass or metal. For this, it was a minute and 45 second exposure at F8, which is pretty long for a normal exposure. So it's kind of popping out, so this one might not even come out. <laughs> I met Nick about two or three years ago, and we met via Instagram and ended up meeting up and shooting, and turned out to be an awesome guy. He is literally like a mad scientist when it comes to chemicals and making his own film. It honestly looks pretty sketchy when he posts on Instagram and it's like him mixing up chemicals in these different colored glass bottles, but it's honestly insane and he's basically a scientist that takes photos because there's just so much chemistry involved and all these different chemicals and different powders that he's using, but he takes some really cool photos so you should check out his work. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check it out. Also, we're up at this spot which overlooks Will Rogers State Beach, and it's this awesome lookout. You should check it out sometime. So this was a new type of glass plate that he was using, and he wasn't really sure of what the exposure would be. So he ended up doing this one for five minutes at an ISO of three, and it didn't really turn out. So, but I have some photos that I took, so here you go. He also pulled out this pretty cool toy camera, which is a Savoy camera. Last phone, last frame. I've had this film in here for months. <laughs> oh, I guess I could, oh, it doesn't do infinity. That's the problem. Oh, it does It's like five to 20 feet. Ah. Oh. I was shooting with my Konica Hexar, which I just came out with a video the other day about, and I was using a 50 millimeter with a deep yellow using Delta 100 film. Nick was switching out his lenses and put on a polarizer so that he could polarize the light and get some more contrast. He took some more shots using some ortholithofilm, which is a bit different. It is a really high contrast black and white film. A friend of mine, Gabe Sachs, who is a super talented photographer and writer, 
We met at Beers and Cameras a while back and we've been good friends since. But since he's a fellow camera nerd and is obsessed with cameras, he came by to check out Nick's camera. And fun fact, you should actually check out Gabe's new podcast that he has on the Sunny 16 podcast. And it, he just talks about camera gear and it's super cool. Nick wanted to take a portrait of Gabe, so he was setting up his shot, and while he was doing that, I snapped a few of Gabe on my Hexar. Nick loaded in his film, which was the Ortholitho film from Arista, and took the shot and he had to shoot it wide open so there's a ton of depth of field which you'll see in this photo here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys again. I'll be coming out with a new video probably every week so keep an eye out.